two Rags to Riches episodes in two days. What's happening B's and G's and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on a Rags to Riches video. I know I posted one yesterday and if you did miss it, I'll leave that up in the top right corner. It literally came out less than, well, 24 hours now when you watch it. It literally came out yesterday, so if you did miss it, go click that and you can watch the episode from yesterday. If you have missed any of the episodes up to now because this is the 10th episode I believe now. I'll also leave the playlist up in the top right corner so if you're new to the series you can go and click on that and you'll get yourself up to date with what we're doing here. If we could go for 100 likes on this episode that would be absolutely awesome. But effectively the series is about starting from nothing and ending up as a main account using money makers and using Slayer and all sorts of quests to get ourselves to that top, top tier of a main account. In the last episode, we completed Monkey Madness, and it means we unlocked Dragon Scimitars. What we need to go and do now is get 60 attack, and then probably do Lost City. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're currently sat on 56 attack. So what I'm going to do is bash out a load of quests so that we can get the attack XP up. We also need 32 quest points for Dragon Slayer, so I might as well do these quests. They give pretty good quest points and free to play, and it's just going to get us closer and closer to that 60 attack, which means we can then wield a dragon simmy. So last hit, there we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the quest just ends there as soon as you're done, which is so nice. You don't need to speak to anyone. Just under 5,000 XP there, which takes us really, really close to 57 attack. Unreal stuff. Right, and then we did the waterfall quest. We're just about to finish that now. If we put this urn on the chalice, that should be quest completed. Boom, huge stuff. 13k, 13k, a cat, a dead, 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 13k attack and strength XP in both of those. Two more diamonds. There's diamonds fucking left, right, and center at the moment. Two gold bars, 40 mithril seeds. We know what we're going to do with those bad boys. Anyway, that takes us to 29 quest points. Takes us to 61 strength and 57 attack. Not too far away from uh, 58 either. That's not going to take long at all to get to. So we are just getting edging closer and closer to that 60 attack now. Then we went and bashed out Fight Arena, and we're just finishing it off here. Pretty boring quest, so I thought I'd just show you the XP. 12,000 attack, 2,000 thieving XP as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's go and have a look at what we've got. 58 attack now, and level 15 thieving as well, which is pretty nice. And if we have a look, 69.93, which means we are literally a level away from being able to use the uh, Fairy Slayer Master. In the, Lost Qu in the Lost City quest, you know, in Xanaris, which is pretty good. We're also one quest point away from Dragon Slayer 2. So, we're really, really close. How far are we? 19k away. We're about 40-ish k away. XP from 60 attack as well. So, once we do that, we'll do Lost City. And then we'll have a Dragon Scimitar and a DDS on this account. Which is going to make Slayer so much quicker. Once we get that Slayer to like 65, 70, we're going to be making absolute bank just through combat on this account. And it is really coming together. So this is going to be 60 attack coming in. We literally need to hit a couple more times. We have 60 attack, which means we can go over to Apatol and buy the Dragon Simi now that we've done Monkey Madness. We're also going to go and smash out Lost City because that means we'll get a DDS, which is going to be a really nice spec weapon for uh, Slayer and stuff like that. So the account is really coming on now. Everything's looking very good. I think I'm going to jump into some defense XP now just because I'd like to get the... 60 and 70 and 75 so that we can start using the really high level armor later on in the game So I think we're gonna go for 60 defense now Here we go good and buying the dragon scimitar. Let's go and chuck this bad boy on <laughs> Link Alterina is becoming a proper man This is gonna boost the XP during Slayer and just combat stats by so so much unreal stuff it's everyone's favourite time of the video, it's Seamus plug time! And I also didn't have enough footage, so uh, you are actually going to see this clip twice that you're watching right now, so enjoy me cutting some trees! Right now I'm streaming Rags to Riches every single day on Twitch, 10pm UK time, so you can watch me make an idiot of myself and have no idea how to do any of these quests. It's pretty much the Twitch chat that let me know what I should be doing next, really. The link to my Twitch is in the description and on screen now. Click that and give me a follow if you feel like it. So once we do Lost City, we'll also get access to a new Slayer Master, which would be worth a lot more points and better tasks, which are going to make us more money. Uh, we got the 70 combat level that you need to use 
that Slayer Master. But you do need 36 woodcutting to do Lost City. So I'm just going to quickly bang that out. So we're halfway through Lost City now. And uh, once we've done this, it means we're going to be able to use the new Slayer Master. And we'll get a DDS as well. It's also going to give us enough quest points to do Dragon Slayer. Which is obviously a quest that should be done on every account. So quite a big quest going on here though. It's an easy, easy quick quest. We've got to kill a zombie. They'll drop us a Bronze Axe. And then we've got to kill a Tree Spirit. And then we're done. So uh, I'll probably show you bits of that. Right, here we go. So we chop the tree down and then we run behind here. And then we've got Crumble Undead. And because you can't bring a staff to the island, it means that uh, it means that you have to cast every single one. But thankfully, Crumble Undead is super effective against this tree spirit. So it's really not going to take long at all. And uh, once we've done this, we literally cut the Brahman branch down and then we are done. Take it back. And we are in Xanaris, and we'll probably go and grab ourselves a Slayer task. I think that's what we'll do with our new Dragon Scimitar and DDS. Oh, what a time to be alive. Come on, Linky boy. See ya later, boy. And that should allow us to chop the tree. Boom. We're going to get a couple. Just so that we can... Uh, yeah, we'll get three. Just so that in case I lose a Draymond branch, we've got more than one. Then we're going to tell you out of here. Uh, we'll go to Lumbridge. And we are ready to finish this quest. So here we go. We went and got ourselves three Draymond branches and just used the knife on them, which gave us the Draymond staffs. All you have to do is equip it and walk in this door. Boom. That is quest complete. Unreal stuff. So we'll jump on back to Varrock now. Actually, no, we won't. You know what we will do? We're going to go and get ourselves a Slayer task. So it's literally directly under here. Great stuff. Let's go and talk. I can't remember what they're called. It's like Chedlar or Chadlar or something. She's like a little fairy thing. And she gives us tasks. There we go. Assignments. Let's go. What do you got? What do you got? 168 pyre fiends. I was hoping for something a little bit better than that for the first Slayer task. But we'll take it. Um, you know, we're on to a much better Slayer Master now. We're using Vanica, which is a level 30 Slayer Master before. So that's pretty good. We're going to hop on over to Varrock and buy ourselves a DDS. And then we're going to be pretty much good to go. Look at this piece of cheese. The Dragon Simi. And then throwing it into a DDS. P++. Look at that. Fuck, I'm happy. I'm so happy. These are stats that we've got at the moment as well. Everything's looking pretty good. Are we close to a level there? Not quite. But uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty, pretty good. Except for range. Range is looking pretty uh, neglected. Maybe we'll get that up as well. Because uh, range is so important in later game uh, content. But I'm so happy with where we are right now with the account. There is 30 ranged. And what we're actually going to go and do is grab ourselves a animal magnetism quest. Because we really need to get the assembler or accumulator or whatever the fuck the one is called that's level 30 it's neither of those i know i got both of them wrong but we really need one and we do need to get this range up because it is absolutely shocking so we're gonna go and smash out animal magnetism the gains honestly huge gains it's great ava's attractor thank you doug doug there we go so we had to bash out a few quests but we have now done uh ghosts thingy no cunt i can't even remember what i had to do so i'm gonna have to re-record this Right, so we had to do a few quests before we could get Animal Magnetism done. So we went ahead and got Restless Ghost done, Ernest the Chicken, and Priest in Peril. They're all done now. We are ready to go and get this done. We went and got the 30 range as well because you need that for Animal Magnetism. Fuck! Why can't I speak? Why, why can't I speak? Fuck. So yeah, we are off to start Animal Magnetism. So that is pretty much Animal Magnetism done. We're just going to go through these doors. We've gone and cut our tr twig of wood thing. Uh, and I think this is the last thing we do. We give this to uh, Ava and then she gives us a really complex puzzle. And uh, let's have a look. Trade with Ava? No. Talk to Ava. I have that undead wood at last. You certainly took your time. All right, Ava. Fuck off. Talk to her again. Okay. Your concern is touching. Okay, so I think we read this. And then we just literally... I think we click this one off, these two off. When I say I think, I'm looking at the guide. I'm not like some fucking boy genius who knows what's going on here. 1,000 XP in crafting, fletching, and slayer. 2,500 woodcutting XP, one quest point, and Ava's device. What a time to be alive. Oh, we got some quests. We got some uh, levels coming in there as well. We got uh, 14 fletching. That was at 10. 
and the wood cutting went up by one level as well and we now have our first device on our back we are going to go for 50 range so that we can get the next upgrade so my plans for the next episode are to probably go and grab ourselves maybe 50 ish range just so we can get the next device from ava because that is a big big upgrade in terms of melee i'm pretty satisfied as of now I think, you know, the defense has to go a bit higher, but that's not a massive, massive thing we need to do. And probably just get on the quest grind and just get to the point where this is going to be making some really good money through Slayer. Bang out a few Slayer tasks. And yeah, I'm just so, so happy with the progress we've made in the last couple of episodes. It has literally gone through the roof. We were sort of stagnating at just doing money makers and just making enough money to get by. But now we've sort of got enough money to be able to play around and really do what we want to do with the account. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure, and if you did get to this part of the video and you haven't already clicked the like button, please think about doing it. It means so much when I see loads of likes on the videos. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye, no. Never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go.